ultrasonic sensor with HC Dish SR04, JSN SR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. In today's episode, we are going to use a 02WY UW waterproof ultrasonic sensor with Arduino, ESP32 Wi Fi Plus Bluetooth module, and the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. I have already created quite detailed videos on the HC Dish SR04 and JSN SR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensors. I've used both of these sensors in projects ranging from beginners to intermediate and advanced levels. So, in this video, I won't go into much detail about these sensors i will just do a brief comparison but if you want to know more about these sensors in detail you can check out my previous videos i will add links to all the related videos in the description anyway let's do a side by side comparison of this beast with its ultrasonic siblings the a 0 2 uw ultrasonic sensor is waterproofed and its protection rate is ip67 the entire sensor is protected against dust and water whereas the hc dash sr04 is not designed to be waterproof or weather resistant it doesn't have a specific protection rate against dust or water it is recommended to use the hc dash sr04 ultrasonic sensor in an environment where it won't be exposed to moisture or harsh weather conditions while the jsn sr040 is designed to be waterproof and has a protection rate against dust and water this makes the jsn sr040 suitable for applications where water resistance is necessary such as outdoor projects or environments where the sensor might be exposed to rain or moisture. It should be noted only the sensor part is waterproofed and not the interface board so make sure you keep the circuit part in a waterproof enclosure. The operating voltage of the A02YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor is from 3.3 volt to 5 volt DC so it's compatible with ESP32, ESP8266, STM32, Raspberry Pi Pico etc which are 3.3 volt compatible controller boards and also with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc., which are 5 volt compatible controller boards. Whereas the HC Dish SR04 and JSN SR040 ultrasonic sensors are 5 volt compatible controller boards, you can safely use it with Arduino and Raspberry Pi. But if you are planning on using these sensors with 3.3 volt compatible controller boards, then you will have to use voltage converters. The working current of these ultrasonic sensors is 8 milliamps, 15 milliamps, and 30 milliamps. The exact working current of the ultrasonic ultrasonic sensor can vary slightly based on factors like operating conditions and specifications of the particular model. The blind zone distance of the a 0 2 uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor is 3 cm. It means that the sensor may not reliably detect objects that are closer than 3 cm. The blind zone distance of an ultrasonic sensor refers to the minimum distance within which the sensor is unable to provide accurate distance measurements. The blind zone distance of the hc dash is SR04 is 2 cm, whereas the blind zone distance of the JSN SR040 is 25 cm. A02 YUW falls in between HC Dash SR04 and JSN SR040 in terms of blind zone distance. It offers a compromise between close range precision and long range performance. It has a ranging distance of 3 to 450 cm, 2 to 400 cm, and 25 to 450 cm. The outputs are UART, TTL and TTL plus UART. Response time is 100 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds and 65 milliseconds. The exact response time may vary slightly depending on factors such as the specific model, environmental conditions and the microcontroller or system it is connected to. All three ultrasonic sensors are 40 kHz. The operating temperature of the a 0 2 uw is between minus 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. The operating temperature of the HC Dash SR04 ultrasonic sensor is between minus 15 and 70 degrees Celsius, and the operating temperature of the JSN SR040 ultrasonic sensor is between minus 10 and 70 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that these are general specifications, and the actual performance in extreme temperatures may vary. If you have specific temperature requirements for your application, it's advisable to refer to the data sheet or technical specification provided by the manufacturer for the precise details related to the model you are using. The sensing angle is 60 degrees, 15 degrees cone shape 
and less than 50 degrees. The sensing angle is a crucial factor to consider when positioning the sensor in a project as it determines the coverage area and influences the sensor's effectiveness in detecting objects within its field of view. A wider sensing angle might be beneficial in applications where a larger detection area is required. After this detailed comparison, now you have an idea that the a 2 the waterproof ultrasonic sensor is better in every aspect, especially its voltage range, maximum distance range, sensing angle, accuracy, and protection rating. Now we are going to use this ultrasonic sensor with Artvedo, Nord MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, I'm using my design Arduino Nano development board, but you can also use Arduino Uno. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the a 2 yuw waterproof ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino 5-fold and ground pins. Connect the TX and RX pin of the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino D10 and D11 pins. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the SD1306 OLED display module to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED LED display module to the Arduino A4 and A5 pins. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you install these libraries. Simply copy the library name then go to the sketch menu. Then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box and install the library. As you can see I have already installed this library. Now follow the same exact steps for the the library. The advantage of using software serial library is that I can define multiple serial ports. This way I can use the Arduino default serial port for the debugging purposes. So you can see I have defined another serial port with the name my serial. So through this serial port I'm going to communicate with the ultrasonic sensor. This code is needed for the SD1306 OLED display module. I have already explained it in my Arduino full course video. Anyway, the code is pretty straightforward. We simply read the A0211. UW waterproof ultrasonic sensor and then print the values on the OLED display module. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Arduino and a 2 uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor in action. We just built a simple yet highly accurate distance meter. You can modify this project and convert it into a security system by adding some if conditions. So when an object or a human or anything else is detected by this sensor, a buzzer will be turned on. Or you can use this as an obstacle detector in a robot and this way you can control the motors. You can also use this as a water level sensor. There are countless ways you can use this sensor. It totally depends on your idea how you decide to use it. Next, we're going to use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the a 2 uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor to the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the TX and RX pins to the ESP8266 D5 and D6 pins. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the SD1306 OLED display module to the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module to the Node MCU D2 and D1 pins. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. This is the same exact program. This time I only changed the pins my ultrasonic sensor is connected to while everything else remains exactly the same. And one more thing that I would like to talk about is if this is your first time using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module then you will need to install the ESP8266 ESP8266 board in the Arduino IDE and for this you can watch my getting started video on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the a 2 uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module in action.
Next time, I will use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor with Boeing application. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Next, we are going to use this ultrasonic sensor with the ESP32 Firefly Plus Bluetooth module. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the A02YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor to the ESP32 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the TX and RX pins of the ultrasonic sensor to the ESP32 GPIO 16 and GPIO 17. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the SD1306 or LED display module to the ESP32 3.3V and ground pins. Connect the SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module to the ESP32 GPIO pins 21 and 22. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Again, I'm using the same exact libraries and code but this time instead of using the software serial library, I'm using the hardware serial library as ESP32 has got multiple serial ports so you can see my waterproof ultrasonic sensor is connected to the serial port 2 and everything else remains exactly the same and let me also tell you if this is your first time using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module then first of all you will need to install the ESP32 port in the Arduino IDE and for this you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module anyway I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the A02YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module connection. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.